Now it's time for foundation. I'm currently using Silk Sphere and I always like to start with three shades in order to determine what my perfect match is. Remember, we have created this mixing well for you to custom blend your perfect shade. So maybe you are just a shade three, but then maybe you get a little bit of a suntan. You've got shade four, maybe even shade 4.5 that you can add into your shade three to accommodate, as well as creating highlighting and low lighting techniques. And we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first one, which is shade three for me. Make sure you shake everything up. You wanna hear those mixing balls work. We are measuring in drops. So again, I'm tilting forward. One, two, three, whoops, four. I think that ended up being five. I'm going to turn on again, and I'm going to pull that trigger just slightly back into this tissue until I see my foundation shade come through. And then, we're gonna go ahead and start by spot treating. So if you'll notice, I have a few spots around the face that might need a little extra coverage. With spot treating, you're just gonna hover about, let's say an inch away from the skin, if you can tell. You're gonna hover over the spot, lightly pulse on the trigger until it disappears in that area. This is not where we are doing circles, okay? And then we're gonna move further from the face, four to six inches. And this is where, again, I'm not gonna pull the trigger yet. This is where we start our circles, just light circles overlapping. No zigzags and no lines, no up and down side to side. Light buildable layers, barely pulling back on that soft touch control. Are you ready? Here we go. This is going to be layer one. Notice as I move around the face, I'm changing the angle of the airbrush to accommodate the curve of my face. Okay. Nice sweep down the nose. Don't forget the inner corners of the nose. This is one light layer of application. All right. Now we're gonna start layer two. This is where we're probably gonna start hearing that empty sound. But I do want you to note how much coverage we've gotten with just five drops of makeup. Now let's say that we want maybe a little bit lighter color under our eyes. Maybe we wanna brighten a little bit. Then we would go to a lighter shade of foundation and add that in. However, let's say we got a little bit of color in the sun or maybe we're a little darker on the neck and decollete area and we want to accommodate that. So let's go ahead and do that. I've got shade 4.5 here. I started with three. So I'm going all the way up to 4.5 and I'm going to add that in. Well, let's just go ahead and do three drops. Well, I guess that ends up being about three and a half, okay? Um, if you're actually pouring into the airbrush and it gets clogged and no drops come out, sometimes the mixing ball is laying right around here and might be blocking the flow. So all you have to do is give it a little shake and it will loosen that up. Then remember, we wanna test the flow and the shade. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that on again. Pull back on the trigger, make sure our color is coming out and we are ready to go. Now with this being a little bit darker, I'm gonna start at the perimeter of my face. Maybe down into my neck. I've never appreciated an airbrush more than when it comes to blending foundation down onto the neck. It is amazingly simple. Once we have gotten the level of coverage that we're looking for, we do need to get rid of what's left inside the AirPod Pro. So grab your tissue, pull that soft touch control back all the way and spray the remaining pigment into the tissue. There really shouldn't be much left. So I just keep spraying until nothing else comes out. 